Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and explain to you guys the three mods that I use for Grim Dawn and more importantly, why. Now, normally I'm pretty anal about not using mods and third party stuff, not because of any reason that you guys may be thinking. The main reason is just because I feel that if I use a mod on a game and then quit that game and then revisit it, I can't play it again without using those mods, which can be annoying to set up in the future. So I typically just try to play games vanilla with few exceptions. Grim Dawn is going to be one of those exceptions. So the three mods that we're going to be talking about today are going to be uh, Item Assistant, um, Rainbow, and Grim Internals. Now, it is important to note that two of these mods uh, are actually kind of like... Uh, 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 I don't know the word for it. It's it's not like it actually you like click stuff in the game. It's external. I think external is the word I'm looking for. I'm not really good at explaining this. Anyway, let's just get on and explain them. So let's first start off with Grim Internals. Now, Grim Internals is a mod that basically adds the definition of quality of life. So for example, one little thing to note is once you boot up Grim Internals, and again, if you want to know how to install the mods, I'm going to be linking the three forum posts so that you guys can go check all that out. Once you get your Grim Internals, Grim Internals booted up, you're going to hit Control F5, and it's going to bring up this gigantic list here. TLDR, what this does is it's going to make it so you can see monster health, it's going to make it so you can see your buffs on the left side of the screen, it's going to make it so you can see uh, percentage health, flat, you know, however you decide to choose it, uh, you can see a bunch of different modes, basically it's all quality of life. Another thing that this adds is component automatic completion, component pickup, uh, pickup of purple items, quest items. Basically, it, it makes it so you can focus more on the game and less on backtracking. You know, let's use an example. Say, um, say you're running, you're running through a dungeon and you kill a pack and you don't pay attention to the pack, and then you loop around all the way up here and you notice that there's like a cracked lodestone down there. You could just walk near the edge; the lodestone will get sucked into your inventory and you'll move on. So it saves you time on going back all the way. It's just overall quality of life. Now, one thing that I have done with this to take it one step further um, is you can actually see player health, enemy health, and pet health. I have went into my folder specifically, and you'll have to look on the forums how to do this, and I changed the color of the enemy's health to be static red, and I've made it so my minions are always blue. The reason why I made my minions blue is when you're running areas with, I don't know, like 300, no, like, you know, 40 monsters on your screen, it's very difficult to see the difference between what is your minion and what is an enemy. So to give you an example of how this looks, some of you guys know what that looks like from the previous videos. Let me just go to like Warden really fast and show you. You can also see the automatic component pickup uh, as we go through. Let's see if we can find the nice hero spawn. There we go. See, the scrap was automatically picked up there. It automatically picks it up when you move. So if I stand still here and then I move... Actually, I can show you the pickup range if I blink over here. That's the pickup range. I think you can even set it to pick up stuff like that, but I don't have mine set up for that. See, the chilled steel was picked up from the uh, opposite room there. The scrap will be picked up. Okay, time to move on to the next one. So the next one I use is a mod called Rainbow. Now Rainbow is something I'm still getting used to and personally kind of annoys me, but it's not anything with the mod itself because you can customize and change everything. But Rainbow is basically the following. Uh, Rainbow identifies items and stats and shows it color, color accordingly. So Vitality Damage is red, and again, you can change these if you choose to. Crit Damage is dark green, you can see Internal Trauma, Physical, everything is basically its own thing. The main thing between this, though, is it makes it easy for you to identify double rares, regular rares, um, and a bunch of other stuff. You won't really understand the use of it at the beginning of the game, because like some of the, you're not going to see a lot of these items until endgame. But like, for example, if I pop this, right? 
you can see that this is a rare item with I think just a regular a regular roll right if it was green in the middle then I believe the green would imply that it's a rare stat which means it rolls with multiple ones so it helps you kind of identify the difference between them if you're new to Grim Dawn I highly recommend for you to get this going early so you don't get used to the old stat method because this truly does help you learn the game opposed to just not understanding because everything is there's just so many stats and it's kind of random right so now to go back and show you guys my personal favorite of the three and the one I actually just now installed. Uh, this is actually allowing me, I, I probably, I'm going to be honest, I probably would have stopped playing Grimdon if I didn't have these mods, specifically this last one. So to show this last one, uh, this last one is called Item Assistant. Now Item Assistant, before you guys freak out, is not cheating, right? If you think it's cheating, you're literally an idiot. The only thing it does is it enables you to save all of your items externally on your PC and sort it on your PC. So instead of you having only these spots for stash tabs, you have your entire external hard drive to save items on. You can back it up to a folder so that you never have to worry about it getting lost. For example, my whole account was deleted if you guys you know, follow that at the beginning. I click backup, it's done. It's backed up on a folder. So what this does is it dedicates this last stash tab right here to sucking items in. So if I put these items in right here and I move back and I go back to it, okay, the items are gone. The items have been uploaded onto Grimdon Item Assistant. And I can now choose to sort my items however I want. So let's use an example. Say I'm playing a new build and I don't know exactly how I want to play it yet, right? So I decide I want to play an Aether build. And on my Aether build, I want to use a piece of gear that has physical resistance because it's the rarest to find. Now I can see all the pieces of gear with those set stats, right? And this is cool because it allows you to see, you can see if you have duplicates, you can see everything about your items and you can sort them so easily. And the next thing about it, which is super simple, is you just click transfer to stash. So the item gets deleted from here. Well, it's, hold on, this okay, is open. So you just click transfer to stash boom it takes the item out of grim turn or item assistant puts it in your stash and you can now use it the reason why this is cool is it also saves you time on making alternate accounts losing your items it even allows you to sort your components you can see there's a component section and this is all really 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 good in my opinion because it, it it's all just the definition of quality of life you know part of the thing i hate about grim dawn and it's okay hate is the wrong word part of the annoyance of grim dawn is saying okay i want to play another character right and you're like all right what am i going to use for my next build and you look up a set and you're like okay i'm going to use this four piece set so so for my character i'm going to use a gull set right but four pieces in Grim Dawn is, is like not a lot, right? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I just count wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, augments, components, buffs, etc. So this way I can store items that are rare, right? Put them inside the item assistant, not use them for two weeks, and then search in it and realize it pops up in there. Whereas in my stash tab, I can't search, I can't see anything. If it's a green item, I have to assume it's a good item that I picked up. You know what I mean? It can just get very cluttered very easily. So I really like this program for that specific reason. Oh, hold on. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all that I've done. Like I said, um, yeah, I mean, that's really about it. I will link these three form posts um, for them specifically, which will teach you how to get them installed. Remember, everything is free, everything is legit. Grimdon is not a multiplayer game. It is a single player game with the option of multiplayer. You cannot get banned for using stuff like this. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.